ini ini meaning of these eight insects four positive and four negative that appear in your home and how to handle them in order to attract good luck and abundance or actually to repel the bad energy actually coming with do you know that the insects that appears in your house have meanings some are positive so are negative how to handle the insects that appears in your house in order to attract good luck and the prosperity the insects that appears in your house have spiritual undertone some are of good omen why some are why some are of bad omen how to handle them to attract abundance prosperity and good luck by god's grace in today's video i wish to share with you a bit spiritual mystery about incest this is just to add to the videos i've made in the past about certain incest you should not kill and certain incest you must actually kill in order to always be free from every form of negativity and enjoy this ecosystem of the world we have found ourselves today i will be sharing with you specifically certain incest that have positive energy that once you find it in your house how you are going to handle it in order to attract that particular message from the universe almighty god or your guardian angel that that particular incest have actually brought believe me in this particular planet we find ourselves nothing is by coincidence everything that you see that happens under this earth to you it might be coincidence to physical realm it might be coincidental but spiritually it is not so if only follow me to the end of today's video i'll be sharing with you meaning of any insect that you find in your house and how you can actually handle it in order to attract good luck or how you can actually repel it in order to ensure that bad luck is out of your way so before then please give this video a thumbs up so that youtube algorithm will shift it to other people that need it as so may god bless you welcome back to jenny ashan tv in this particular channel i discuss three important variables which are actually health safety and spirituality in this channel we pray strategic prayers we read the word of god in and out we believe in balance that is actually why we do spiritual work so if this is the very first time you're finding yourself in this beautiful family you're highly welcome please kindly hit the red subscribe button and the bell notification starts to always get my next upload for my returning subscribers i love you so much thank you for always stopping by so without wasting time let's dive in i'll start with incest with positive vibes positive vibration that you are not meant to kill if i get enough thumbs up and comment in this video i'll be sharing with you the incest that are spiritually manipulated to come and trouble you even if it is positive it can still be manipulated to be to trouble you but this this incest never kill it because this is actually the positive vibes you have around you number one is beetles beetles symbolize good luck prosperity and transformation so once you see it in your house it means that good luck is it is about to hit you prosperity is your portion and transformation is going on in your life but if you follow me to the end of today's video i'll tell you how you can handle it in order to ensure that these three things that has brought you enjoy it because there's a way you equally handle it you will never get the stray number two is butterfly butterfly is one incense that rep that represents beauty it represents your soul it, re it represents spiritual growth believe me whenever you see a butterfly in your house know that there is something that is beautiful something that will give you joy that gladdens your heart that will actually come you know bible say they a many had do it good like medicine but a sorrowful had dried up these bones most of the times have you noticed that when you are happy when you are marrying that it reflects even on your side you look so beautiful but when things that are ugly is happening around you you will be drying up every time you're not happy your face is like a, a kind of physics that they should catapult to god forbid it's not for anybody's portion in this channel so whenever you notice that there is butterfly in your house it represents these three things beauty it represents beauty of your soul and beauty of the outside as well as spiritual growth know that something unique is about to happen that will make you so happy then the number three is a honey bees whenever you see honey bees it is always embodiment of sweetness abundance and then community that is unity and peace you know that honey bees are, are the actual bees that produce honeys now when you get original honey produced by them not uh, sugar made honey that people can cook sugar and it turn brown no 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 
But when you get the honey from honey bees, have a lot of positive vibes and positive vibration. It attracts abundance, prosperity, favor to you. The same vibe is what the inside that produces it have and signify industry and represent industry. It means that if you think very well, you would have a kind of bring into existence something that is not existing to exist you would also a kind of try to do some industrial activities like um, involve your manufacturing one thing or the other when you start a business that involve industrial outfit you will make it another one is that it signify hard work as well as abundance now if you see this negative incest this is what it means or see this certain incest in your house so I am going to be sharing now the three negative incests that you must do away with. Don't allow them to be in your house. Number one is cockroach. Cockroach is associated with darkness. It's associated with disease. It's associated with darkness. It's associated with field. It's associated with bad luck. In fact, it's one of the incests that even monitoring spirits will like to use in order to monitor you in and out, in order to cause havoc in your life. Whenever you notice cockroach in your house please kill it and when you kill it don't just dispose it like that get black leather and use it to tie it and throw it away don't burn it so that peradventure it is the one that is cloned by a monetary spirit or evil spirit they will not be able to recruit another one but when you burn it the spirit that cloned it will just disappear and then clone another one so the best is actually to dispose it let them decay inside that black leather so long as it is leather that is not transparent they will not be able to escape the next one is mosquito mosquito represent annoyance frustration and disease have you witnessed that scenario area you want to sleep want to enjoy your sleep this thing will come and be disturbing your ears singing nonsense and then crying in your ears and so on it represents annoyance, frustration, and disease because it is oh, the same mosquito that transmits that's for the female anopheles that transmits malaria and other wicked parasites in the body. This is why you should not allow it anywhere near your home. You have to get disinfectant to make sure that they are killed. You have to maybe one way or the other sleep under mosquito net. If you are living in Nigeria like me, where you know that mosquito is likely going to bite and disturb, especially now that we are in rainy season, the stagnant water here and there can actually encourage, can actually become a breeding place for them. Try as much as possible to clear every stagnant water around you so as not to allow mosquito to be closed. The next one is flies. Flies represent, represent decay, death, death, and negative energy. Whenever you see flies in your house, like I said, don't kill house fly because actually house fly to a great extent, killing it will bring bad luck. Just open your window and make sure that they find their way out. And another thing you would have done to it is get things that you know that is going to help to repair those mosquitoes. Like you can actually blend garlic and then onions and the clove together and then mix it with water and sprinkle it all around your environment to a great extent it will help to repair those uh, mosquitoes and then sleeve like neem leaf can actually help to repair those flies neem leaves can actually burning it around your environment in your house your kitchen in your room using charcoal fire can actually also help to repair it and then you can also get other repairance and disinfectant from the a kind of stores ask them and they will show you the best and you will use it also to repair them so let me add one jar to make it fall so that they will be totally eight snakes in the house can actually represent evil presence it's deceit or betrayal anyhow you find snake around you physically it may just be about snake but spiritually look out for if for certain a kind of evil people that might betray you and then maybe satanic presence in your house you have to declutter your house you have to do a kind of a spiritual cleansing of your home have a lot of video some of those videos that say since i clean my house with this that money has come from everywhere those a kind of cleansing will always repair incest repair snakes if you can get kerosene drop kerosene at every four edges of your room and then when you are out and then it will help to evacuate such negative presence in your home so these are the 
eight insects or so creatures are we to discuss with you now let's look at how you actually going to handle them in order to attract this good luck or repel negative energy now when you get beto in your house don't kill it simply cash it anyhow you are going to cash it whether with bare hand or you are wearing hand glove or leather in your hand and then pick it and release it gently to the empty space of the universe and say take good luck with you when you say such you know you attract what you are not what you want by giving that insect good luck good luck will come to you for butterfly you can actually allow it to fly freely in your house around your house you may not need to leave it to go and then whenever it goes out through the window or goes out through the door you simply tell it lift my spirit up by so doing you will be lifted even if there are some burdens that is troubling you presently to be as if that burden is relieved and no distance and you get answer to that particular burden so you get solution to them and then when you see ant anywhere around your home look at it very well wash it as it goes around and then speak the word this word teach me your industry believe me you will start getting divine inspiration and divine grace in order to make some things that is not existing before to come into existence in order to put another vibes into your business and you see yourself excelling beyond your widest imagination then when you see honeybees around your house though to an extent it might stink but don't allow it to stink you just go around and like you're admiring it as a kind of a gift of nature and then say this word bring your abundance and community and by god's grace even if there is chaos in that home peace will start coming and you see abundance to some extent then but when you see any of these four incest one cockroach Please clean and declutter your house. Find out the things, dirty things around your environment that is bringing it. Do clean up in your house. As you are doing that clean up, be declaring that I am removing darkness, I am bringing light. And removing darkness, I am bringing light. Then if you see the mosquito, you can actually boil lemon, lemon grass and use it to clean your house. You can also a kind of a burn it among other things I've said before and declare that you are removing annoyance from your home and you are welcoming peace of God that passes all understanding. Then when you see flies in your house, kindly open the windows and declare that you are releasing decay and darkness. You are releasing darkness and you are welcoming fresh air. You are welcoming life, peace in this home. Then when you see snake in your house, after killing that snake, find a way and kill it. Declare that you are casting out evil and you are bringing protection. Like one woman of God suddenly called me one day that something strange and terrible happened in their house. I say, what is that? That imagine he and the husband wanted to lie down in the night. Suddenly they are feeling a kind of moving something only to raise their bed sheet. It was a living snake. Hey! And then by God's grace, they were able to kill it. And then say he now cover it inside a tin and was asking me the best way to dispose it. I say, my dear, dig ground very well. We dig ground, put it there, put 21 pieces of clove stick and then get this chili dry paper and pour it inside that particular place and get salt, pour it and then get some things that can catch fire easily and burn it into ashes inside our hole declare that any enemy projector evil man or woman that is responsible for bringing this evil woman in my house to this thing that he has the infantry to climb my bed but that you are burning it and the ending the existence and that as whole is used in Bear, I'm burying someone as I say, bury this, I bury you and your evil omen, and then you should cover it. So, this is a type of wickedness you see sometimes. You notice that some incest are actually sent or some creatures in order to come and deal with you. Imagine she, she and the husband are not sensitive and they lie on that snake. Maybe by morning you will see two dead, dead people and people will be like, ah, what happened? You wouldn't know that somebody has sent evil fiery snake in order to get rid of them. But God made them to be smarter and was able to turn the table around. And that will lead me to the next particular video I'll be making in this direction. That is if I get enough thumbs up, enough comments in this particular video, 
ah, we share with you how you would dictate some insights, even if it's a positive one, that we are actually sent to trouble you, sent to as a problem to your life, and how you handle it. Because believe me, we are in a wicked world. People can actually send certain insights to come and cast problem in your life. But if you know this secret I'm going to be sharing with you, you fear nothing because if they appear, you handle them. And whosoever that send it will regret it. So if you have not subscribed to be part of this family, what are you waiting for? Kindly hit the red subscribe button and the bell notification so as to always get my next upload. Comment on this video, share it widely, and God will bless you. As you do so with this, I say, enjoy your day.